Okay, sheet four and sheet five are related, so I'll include both of those here in this video. Um, your first step is to name some ranges. So we're going to name the regions area. So do a control shift down arrow. We can highlight all of that pretty quickly. And the quickest way to just name that selected range is to type it here in the name box. So we just type region. And then we need this one. Call it annual sales. And this one. Commission earned. Okay, so after we name those, we're going to use those to do some calculations on sheet 5. So we're to calculate the average of annual sales, so we can just type average, and then when we start typing annual sales, you'll see that that comes up here, and so it makes it really quick and easy to get that range in a function. So we can use the name of a range as an argument to a function. So we're going to do the same thing for the commission earned range. Okay, so leave that function there just a second. So we just type equal and then the name of the function. And then for the argument, we use the named range. So in this case, it's commission earned. And the reason I'm typing these functions directly on the spreadsheet, instead of going to formulas and inserting the function that way and getting the dialog box that pops up, is when you're using that dialog box, we can type commission earned in there but it will not bring up the hint and allow us to just click on it. So you have to remember exactly what your range is called. And in this case, with only three, it's pretty easy, but I've worked with spreadsheets where you've got lots of names of ranges. And if you can get started typing it, it'll pull up your options, and then that makes it really easy. Okay, so moving on to this section, um, the way you should write this sum if function, and again, I'm going to type this here so that I can use named ranges. So this first range argument, that's talking about the criteria, not what we want to add up, okay, or create the sum from. The sum range is what we're going to add up. So our criteria is by region. So, I mean, it says sales summary by region. So our range is region. Okay, so notice I just type reg and I select region, comma, and then my criteria, I want it to match this region. And the reason I'm clicking on that instead of typing in E1 is so once I write this formula, I can copy this across for all of these regions instead of rewriting this formula multiple times. So now I just need to add annual sales as my sum range. And I've got that function exactly how I need it. And now when I copy this across, one more, um, notice that if I will look at this last one here, we click on that. I'm doing a sum if for the Northwest 2 region. Okay, so the average if works exactly the same way. We're going to type average if, and our range is region, and our criteria is any one, and annual sales is our average range. And again, we can copy that across. The only thing left to do is to format these as comma style with zero decimal places, we'll do comma and decrease the decimal places. And sheet five is formatted as specified in your instructions.